The third feature in my ongoing series is about Population 3 stars. These stars uh, are the first light shown in the universe. Um, these stars no longer exist, uh, but affected the environment of the early universe. They formed between a million and ten million years after the Big Bang, and they were almost exclusively made of hydrogen. You see, um, in the formation uh, of the elements in the early universe, uh, which is called nucleosynthesis, uh, only a small fraction of helium and uh, uh, lithium form, and no other elements uh, apart from hydrogen. Uh, so the vast majority of matter in the universe at the time was hydrogen. Now, um, elements other than hydrogen um, are called metals in astronomy, and they're really important in the formation of stars. They cool down the molecular clouds, allowing them to condense and eventually collapse much faster. Um, the gravitational collapse then heats up the cloud again, but it's so quick that it generates nuclear fusion and a star is born. Adding metals makes the process more quickly and makes the star smaller. Without metals, the average size of star could have been significantly bigger than our sun. We're yet to serve one, so we can't really be sure, but most people agree that the range of mass could have gone from slightly less than our yellow companion to a staggering 10,000 times more massive. Some hypotheses expect even 10,000 times more massive. Stars so big so had a short lifespan, and when they did explode, they generated spectacular supernova and left behind massive black holes, which probably merged to form the supermassive black holes that reside within the core of most galaxies nowadays.